What's going on everyone, Talon back here, and today, this is going to be a bit of a long video, so there will be timestamps down below, but we are going to be doing an in-depth guide, walkthrough, all that stuff for the new category, Super Battle Road Stages, that are coming to Global JP. Of course, we already have this, but if you're either new to the game, or you haven't really attempted these, or you're trying to find out some good team situations in terms to try and beat the ones that you cannot beat yet, then go ahead and stick around, or go ahead again, check out the links in the description below, or not the links, but the timestamps down below in the comments and I'll leave them in the description, I guess, just as a double whammy, uh, that you can go ahead and check out which one you want to do, okay? So we're going to be going over all the stages real quick because, like I said before, Global, in the next few days or potentially by next week at the very, very latest, at the time it's recording, which is early December 2018, you will be getting the Category Super Battle Road stages and along with it, a brand new LR Goku, who is one copy, at least one copy to this right now, is available to you guys, okay? Or will be available to you if you can beat, uh, meet the certain requirements to do, okay? So first off, let's go over real quickly how to obtain each copy of the Goku, because there are five in total that you get, and then how you have to go about it, okay? So first off, there are 10 new stages, stages 11 through 20, okay? Stage 10, or stage 11 is going to be super, 12 is going to be extreme, 13 is going to be fusion, 14 is realm of gods, or not realm of gods, wow, I'm really off on that, the shadow dragon category, uh, 15 is going to be the peppy peppy girls, or, you know, all, the all girls team, essentially, I might have those guys, or those two teams, like, flip flopped or whatever, nonetheless, I've got them here in the order that we have, though, uh, on the screen that we'll be going through each of the team building areas of it. Uh, and then obviously we've got Revived Warriors, Realm of Gods, uh, Batara, you know, those kinds of things. So anyway, we're going to go into each of these. The top left is going to be all of the teams that I'm going to have uh, that I personally use. The bottom left will be cards that I personally haven't used, but people have used and I've seen them beat it before. Kind of middle right is going to be support units and other units that I've used. And then the bottom right is kind of like filler characters, okay? Real quickly, in terms of getting the Goku, however, though, before we move into that, as I go out of order in that kind of thing. Uh, first off, if you beat the odd-numbered category stages, so 11, 13, 15, 17, and 19, you'll get one copy of the Goku. Beat the even stages, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, you get another copy of the Goku. Beat every stage once, and you get two copies of the Goku, which come in hand in hand when you beat the, you know, all the even numbers and all the odd numbers. Okay, so that's four copies of the Goku right there. And then finally, beat a total combination of all the stages, not including the type ones, just simply the category ones, 20 times. Okay, so that means you can go ahead and beat, say, Patara 10 times, Fusion 2 times, and then uh, assuming you can get 20 in total, then you're good to go. If you want to beat one stage 20 times, which is how the LR Goku one copy at least can be obtainable, free to play, then you can go ahead and do that, okay? And I'm going to get into the team later on about which one is free, completely free to play. I've done it in a video before. If you want to check out all of my videos when it comes to Super Battle Road, testing out brand new characters in them, trying different teams out and everything like that, the playlist is going to be at the end, obviously, and then I'll, I'll, I guess I'll put it up in the little information bubble that you can go ahead and check out right now. Um, of course, they are in chronological order, so the very first, like, I don't know, I'm going to guess around 40 videos is going to probably be old Super Battle Road, and then the newer ones will be down below. So again, just start to look for when you start seeing category, or you probably hit the search button or something like that. Start finding them, and you're going to start seeing all my teams I can go ahead and do. Again, I show off a lot of people because I love using Super Battle Road as a good spot to show off new units and everything. So, without further ado... Let's get into everything real quick. And we're going to start off with the Super. Now, Super and Extreme are going to be a little different in terms of uh, how I went about it and kind of how I can advise you guys to go about it. And then from there on, the actual categories, I will then have the setup I talked about before. Top left, bottom left, bottom right, that kind of stuff, okay? So first off, Super type. Super requires you to bring a rainbow team of whoever you want to bring as long as they're Super types, okay? The game as a friend will try to give you a base, Tech Vegito Blue, no orbs, no nothing, just simply SA-10. Do not touch that guy with a 10-inch pole or whatever the quote is, because I'm forgetting it right now. But nonetheless, now there are some ways and some loopholes around that, but first off, let's get into simply how the game expects you to go about it, okay? Again, you need one type of each, you know, type essentially in order to take this on but of course you can also then bring a friend of a different you know the same color slash type and then if your last slot your sixth character will can also be that so for example if i wanted to bring the tech vegeto blue and then my final card was i don't know tech gohan if there is a tech gohan out there i think there is there's an ultimate tech gohan and then i had a tech vegeto blue friend that's technically three techs but then the rest of my cards have to be a different color the game will not let you continue on so if it is saying like hey you cannot do this because and we're not going to let you go onto the stage it's simply because hey you do not actually have a full rainbow team so you keep that in mind okay 
So without further ado, let's take a look at some of the leaders real quick and some of the different teams you can bring. And again, this is going to come down heavily to what you personally have. I'm going to tell you what I had the best success with, the least success with, and some others that some people have tried and actually succeeded to my knowledge. Uh, again, correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments below on some of these if it didn't work out. But anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at this. And by the way, I will be looking to the side because this is, of course, where my secondary monitor is to take a look at the team builder, okay? So first off, obviously, Tech Vegeta Blue is the one they want you to bring. Great. Obviously, he makes the rainbow leader skill right there. It's 120% to as long as you have the rainbow team there, and you're all good to go. However, the big thing when it comes to this is that Tech Vegeta Blue takes a while to get going to actually be really good at Super Battle Run. If you can actually survive for like six or seven turns or something like that and keep getting multiple super attacks and things like that, his defense and attack are going to skyrocket and he's going to be great. However, as we all know, Super Battle Road, they hit you like a truck. Not the best guy to bring along. He does work in some situations, and again, I'll talk about that on other teams, but for this in particular, if you have to stick with him, go for it, but throw him off rotation, okay? Otherwise, uh, I wouldn't really bring him, okay? Obviously, the Goku and Global, you guys do have this guy. Uh, the Goku is a rainbow guy, and he's, well, not a rainbow guy, but he is a super leader. You still have to bring a rainbow team, though. Do keep that in mind, no matter what team you bring, you have to make it sure it's rainbow, but again, Goku does the same thing as the Vegito does, except without that rainbow limitation on other events. This in particular, though, you can simply just bring him along as the leader if you want to, okay? And that will require you to find other friends of that Goku. I personally think this Goku is a little bit better because, again, he reduces damage just by simply in his states. The one thing you've got to try and build around it, though, is that if you are surviving long enough or it's extending to this point where you actually do get to his Super Saiyan 3, Super Saiyan God, and Super Saiyan Blue transformations, you need to build a team around that has both uh, Shocking Speed, Over in a Flash, and Prepare for Battle. More the Over in a Flash than the Prepare for Battle, not so much the Shocking Speed. That's just simply an extra gimme link that he happens to pick up right there. So... Um, anyway, so he's a great leader to bring if you want to. Uh, again, you have to kind of just build your team however the best you can. Again, uh, you know, if you have a lot of LRs, if you happen to have some other good units that you've got some orbs into, I will always say bring guys that have orb investment into them more over somebody that may quote unquote be stronger, but maybe you have very few orbs or only SA1 or something like that, because this mode is all about being able to take hits and deal damage. If your guy is SA1 and yet he may be some other category leader or really good card or something like that, and say you've got a free to play LR that can deal good damage or at least block really well, take that free to play card any day of the week over Mr. SA1 over there, okay? Whoever that card may be, okay? So with that being said, those are the two obvious leaders that you can bring. Now, there are some loopholes when it comes to Super Battle Road. If you can take a category team and make a rainbow team with that, of course, only super or only extreme, and we'll get into the extreme side there in a little bit, you can technically bring them. One team that I found out that worked out really well with this was the Pure Sands category. I did bring, and I've done, shown many videos of this before, bring a Pure Sands category team. Works out really well, actually. That 170% defense and HP is really nice. The attack of 130% is not that big of a difference between the 120%, but it still helps nonetheless, okay? So obviously, for example, for this team, I brought SSBE Vegeta. Then I brought the Tech SSJ4 Goku. You can also bring the SCR one if you want to, the SSJ4 Vegeta. Yeah pretty much any pure sand guy i could bring and as long as they made a rainbow team it was really good there are tons of units on that category probably probably the biggest category in the game so if you have enough and you can make that team or say for example you have the pure sand you know the the goku here then you can go ahead and bring him as your leader bring a friend vegeto blue sbee -E, and then bring again just pure sand guys that fit into that category both of those categories slash super and you're good to go. Unfortunately, the Tech Vegeta Blue doesn't, is not in that category. So again, mileage may vary there, okay? Another one I've seen some people try to make is a Realm of Gods category. You know, Vegito Blue, the, this Goku again does technically work there. Again, he's giving you 150% 100, there in the stats boost instead of only 120%, which can make a difference sometimes, okay? Uh, and then obviously he can also bring int if you needed to. However, that's kind of, you know, here or there, depending on how much of a boost you have from the ability system. Okay. So again, you can make a realm of God team if you want to. One team that is, I would say probably the easiest way to beat this is that if you have a rainbow super Saiyan three team, 
this team will destroy this event. Not necessarily like just wipe it and you have to worry about it. You still got to be cautious, but they are very, very good at what they do. Bringing in SJJ3 team, that is a, again, rainbow style. This team can blow through it. Lots of people over here in Japan have set records with it. I'm talking eight, nine minutes in terms of beating it. If you've got a really strong Super Saiyan 3 team, by all means, go ahead and do it. Uh, if, even if that you're not that strong, but you've at least got them base, you know, 2,000 uh, plus in the ability system, it can probably be done. Bring a rainbow Bardock friend, seal them up, get really kind of lucky there, and you're all good to go for the most part. So that's not bad right there at all. So uh, also one leader that you can bring technically, like, I don't know how good it can really do, is bringing the great Sandman 1 and 2 LR because they give all, they, it's a rainbow leader style for super types. They give attack and defense and HP up 100%, but they don't give the key. However, their passive does give plus four key and actually, you know, increases it, uh, super types defense as well. So if you keep them on rotation, then, and you've got other characters that link really well, again, prepare for battle, things like that, then it could technically work. I believe D Free did a video, not on Super Battle Road, but on just a normal Doken event, and it worked out pretty well. So if you can get the right rotations right off the bat, again, it's a little bit of luck right there, but nonetheless, you could do that right there, and it could work out pretty well. So I don't know, you got to test that out if you are, again, lacking those leaders right there, but that is, of course, the best way. And of course, as more teams come out in certain categories, you can occur and bring those guys if you need to be. The only one, uh, one team I have not personally tried, but could probably work as a half Sans team. Um, you'd have to make sure you have, find a Frank Gohan, which is really hard. SDR Gohan is very hard to find as a friend these days. Uh, but nonetheless, that could probably work out. So yeah, nonetheless. Uh, anyway, so that's basically it for all the super types. Let's go into the extreme types, okay? Basic leaders that you want to be bringing on this is, of course, either the SCR Rosé. I'm actually bringing this Frieza down here. Or the Tech Frieza. Again, the same thing. Uh, the only thing is that the SCR Rosé is a little bit better uh in terms of over the frieza simply because he does lower the attack of the opponents just by being there uh frieza does heal though which is pretty nice so again if you bring both of them that even makes it better so yeah it is what it is uh now in terms of categories that you can bring in terms to beat this even easier movie bosses movie bosses is probably the easiest one to date right now in order to beat extreme although i've got a couple ideas on some other teams but again that's gonna be more down the line if you happen to see those in my playlist of all the super battle Run videos check them out anyway Movie bosses, very easy to bring along. You don't even need LR Broly or anything like that. I took this event on bringing like, you know, Fiscal Cooler, STR Janimba. You know, obviously Turles is gonna be your main leader. The only downside is you can't bring Rosé. You can technically because he does give extreme types 50%. But that leaves Rosé at a huge disadvantage if he gets hit, because Rosé does not have defense at all. Lowering the attack is nice and everything, but again, your mileage may vary there. You gotta get, gotta get lucky on that one, okay? Uh, anyway, other new units you can bring if, you know, as long as they're, you know, again, a rainbow team, the Android 17, again, he's more of an extreme. He's not in the movie bosses category, but again, he's something you can bring along. As long as, again, as you hit that rainbow requirements right there, you are good to go, okay? Um, again, movie bosses being the easiest. You can even do a revived warriors team if you wanted to. Again, they need to be all extreme, but you can bring like Angel Golden Frieza, Golden Frieza, uh, Physical Kid Boo. Uh, I'm more if he gets his easy though, I'd wait till at least that. Um, you know, then bring an agility unit and you're basically good to go. So there's a lot of different options there if you want to. A lot of people are going to ask bringing LR Broly and LR Mod to Vegeta, depending on what kind of team you make or if there's an extreme team or if it's being this category under the extreme name right there. I would personally say neither. Um, I haven't needed them my pers my personally myself, but I know people that have brought them along and, you know, and they've been really good. Majin Vegeta, you got to get lucky and try to get a good 18 key in there. That can be a little difficult sometimes because you don't want to be bringing items for orb changing over a defensive type item or a ghost usher or anything like that, okay? And then Broly loses his defense and is, if you are getting attacked all over the board because you will get attacked all over the board a lot, that can hurt you a lot right there. So do keep that in mind if bringing those two. I'm not saying they're bad by any means. Just keep in mind they're going to you're gonna get a lot of damage done dealt to you and it can really hurt you, okay? So that's it right there. You guys don't have this card over on Global yet, but JP, if you want to, you can bring the transforming Majin Buu. He does, you you can make a rainbow team and it kind of works out. I did a video on it and it, again, it kind of works. Not the best, but on the least, it, it still kind of works. So yeah, you know, again, mileage may vary on that one. These are the hardest ones in order in terms of the make teams and everything, because again, there are so many extreme type units. There are so many super type units. And by the time you're watching this, if you are watching this even after New Year's into 2019 with what we are expecting to come in, 
Who knows? This guy just might be like, dude, what are you talking about? I'm bringing this new TUR and this new TUR. We are destroying this event. It could easily go that way. So again, mileage may vary when it comes to that kind of stuff right there, okay? Let's move on to the actual categories now. And these will go a little bit faster. Again, like I said before, this is gonna be a long video. Let's go on to fusions. Fusions is one of the most limited categories, I think, as of right now. Uh, so you definitely have to have some of the good units. However, it is doable where you are, okay? Um, one side note real quick when it comes to these category super battle road stages, a lot of these category leaders will also provide boost to types, okay? So for example, Gogeta here, the SSA4 Gogeta, if you happen to bring him, or the LR Gogeta, okay? They provide boost to both tech and physical types, depending on which one you're bringing. Uh, if they are not in that category, so say for example, I wanna bring the physical Gogeta as my leader, and I say, oh, you know what I want to do? I want to bring the SSJ2 Gohan, who is a physical unit because he gives 35% attack and defense buff to everyone. Doesn't matter who. You cannot bring him because he is not in the category. So as great as that guy is on any other events, not so much here. So do keep that in mind, okay? Anyway, moving on. Obviously, your two leaders right now, uh, in terms of being realistically good leaders, I know they're just technically that free-to-play uh, go tanks, but... Eh, eh. They hit too hard for him to be viable in terms of that because he's like 30% or something like that. It's not going to help you out much, okay? Anyway, going on here. Gogeta, fusion leader, 150% uh, right there, which is really nice. And then obviously the LR. Both work just completely fine. Some people will say bringing the Gogeta Super Saiyan 4 is better because of his chance to counter at a high rate when it comes to the super attack. Don't have him blocking, though. If he hasn't gotten a super attack off yet, do be wary of that. And he does lower super types, uh, or not super types, extreme types attack and defense by 20%, which is pretty nice. So I believe it's 20%. Yes, 20% attack uh, down, defense down too, but again, that doesn't really do much, okay? Uh, really good units in order to bring along, obviously, are going to be the SSJ uh, Gogeta, the Int one, or the Strength one, depending on which one you want. Obviously, Int is better at this moment in time before the EZA of a lot of people expecting that the SCR will get his EZA. As of right now, at the time it's recording, though, Int is better. Same with Physical Good Tanks, obviously. Still the better version over his tech one. But again, not bad to bring. Just make sure Go Tanks, especially, he gets hit a lot uh, for a lot of damage. So do be careful there. STR, you know, he doesn't get a defensive boost. Attack, even Int gets hit pretty hard, but he does lower attack, which is nice. So again, mileage may vary, but, you know, play some, you know, you gotta be smart. You gotta be able to make sure you put them in the right spot. Make sure your tankers are tanking most of the attacks, and then they're lowering, get their attacks being lowered and things like that, okay? Now, I just realized my pitcher might be up here in the corner, so I'm going to kind of move him down here. But Go Tanks, physical Go Tanks is really good because he does seal. He does not get a defensive boost, though, so be careful how many times he's getting attacked. But sealing can be really helpful, okay? And then some other units as well, some really good supports, which I guess I should have put her over here, is the Int uh, Pandel. Uh, Global, you guys should have this because it's a fusion character, but she provides 30% attack to the whole team. It doesn't matter who is on the team, but just, again, because it's fusions, that's really good. Be careful, though, if she gets attacked, because, again, even if you do have a rainbow, she's pretty weak in that regards, okay? And then one unit that I know a lot of people have used, but I personally haven't, but you can use, is the SSA3 Adult Go Tanks, because his attack goes up by 100% when you super attack, okay? However, again, no defensive boost. Be careful about when he gets attacked, okay? Fusion, you know, obviously, I obviously haven't gone over every single character, but again, AGL Go Tanks, if you need that last slot, go ahead and do that. STR, I'm going to say no, because he needs to be in the first slot for that to happen, I believe. Yeah, don't, don't really have him there. He's just, yeah, you're going to want others in that first slot right there, okay? Uh, otherwise, you know, there are some other units you can go ahead and bring. But uh, yeah, other than that, Fusion's pretty straightforward. Again, very limited uh, category right now, so that's basically all we can bring up to this date and time. Uh, again, mileage may vary depending on what you have. Just be careful there, okay? Going on to Shadow Dragons. Again, a very small category. And you definitely need the four big boys right here in order, I would say, to have a decent shot at this. Omega, SSA4 Tech Goku, SSA4 Vegeta, and the SSA4 Gogeta. Having those four makes this way easier. Not having them... You might struggle a bit. I'm sure there are people who have done it, but again, this makes it extremely easier, okay? Now, some units that uh, for that are good for support kind of replacement units are going to be the Pan here. She's a very good support unit. Again, they'll be careful if she gets attacked. SS, uh, SCR Trunks is very good. He's strong, but again, no defensive buff, so you keep in mind that right there. And then this Goku. Now, this Goku only provides the passive or his uh, support passive to tech and to physical types, so if you build the team mostly around that, and then say you also have the SSJ4 Gogeta, 
or sorry, the SSA for Vegeta, but you don't really care about him because maybe he's gotten your rainbow or something like that. Or again, you just make sure he's not getting attacked too much. He won't get that, th that passive boost from the Goku here, but Goku will boost everybody else, which is really nice. Obviously everyone's got GT, so key is a non-issue in this category, which is really nice. So do give them in mind. Uh, I actually did, I think I used them. If I didn't, I at least used them off camera. He wasn't a bad option. He wasn't. Um, now two units I know that a lot of people are gonna ask about is gonna be this uh, uh, Shin Shenron. I personally don't think he's that really good of a card. I know he is the best attack buff for the Omega, the physical Omega, because you remember you can't bring the STR or the agility one. Uh, this guy though, his passive though, lowers the enemy's defense. It does not lower the enemy's attack. And again, he's here simply to buff the physical Omega and Omega still takes a lot of damage from the Super Battle Road stage. This guy takes even more damage and he's honestly a liability. If you have him and you have another choice, then bring him along. Just make sure he doesn't get attacked or you got some good orb investment with some dodge. Otherwise, do not bring this guy because he's not really that good. I, I, I know, again, he's really good for the Omega buff. Other than that, though, he can be a big liability when it comes to actually getting hit on this stage and you can die many times to it. Trust me, I've done it myself, okay? Uh, other than that, though, this free-to-play... Ice Shendron, he's not bad. He does lower the enemy's attack and defense by 20% after he's attacked. So if you kind of have that last slot that you need to get, you need to put somebody in and you're not getting attacked there most of the time and you can get really lucky on it, then he's actually not bad. You could probably lower the attack and be pretty good, but don't have him on rotation because he's going to take a lot of damage. Even at rainbow, again, he'll take a lot of damage there, okay? So we've probably gotten the two smallest categories out of the way. Let's move on to the next one. And that is the Peachy Peachy Girl. It's actually kind of sad. This category has more characters than both Fusion and Realm of God. Or not Realm of Gods. I don't care why it's Realm of Gods. Shadow Dragons. Because we haven't touched that category in forever. Nonetheless, we are here. Now, this category is the one that can be beaten free to play completely. I've shown it in my I've shown it in my video plenty of times. I've done it a couple times actually with different units. Heck, there are even some new units now that I want to try it out later on. But nonetheless, if you take this team and this is the only team you can beat this category stage with, over time if you beat it 20 times, you will get one copy of the LR Goku. It's done, okay? So that well, at least one copy of that Goku is free to play. There it is. And actually that's 100% right there. You could technically bring that Goku if you wanted to. On the super stage, I didn't mention that in my super stage, but uh, again, you can bring the LR Gokus there and they're good units. They're 100% up in the attack and defense and the HP and obviously plus three key. So anyway, obviously though, your best leader is going to be the STR Ribrian right here. She's free to play as well. So again, that's who you want to bring. Physical is not bad though. Uh, for some reason, you didn't farm up the STR Ribrian, but and this is the physical one right here. She's uh, category key plus two. HP attack and defense of 70%. So again, SCR is the better one, especially when she Doken Awakens. Even non Doken Awakens, she's still really good. Um, in terms of the leader skill, key plus three, HP attack and defense up 88% when awakened, 77% when non awakened, okay? They do scale the damage down, the amount of uh, opponents you face against this, so it's not too terrible. And a lot of people will agree that this is definitely one of the easier ones, okay? Obviously, really good unit to bring. Uh, AGL, Khalifla, uh, or uh, yeah, Khalifla. I'm gonna mess up these names as I always do. Uh, the Kefla here is really good, the Super Saiyan 2 physical one. The Tech 18 is a really good unit because she provides orbs and she gets a lot of defense from just collecting those orbs, which is really nice. There are a ton of different female units in here. Obviously, if you have somebody with some good orb investment in there, SA 10, the whole nine yards, then bring them along, okay? But the free-to-play team that I did for the very first time when it came to beating this was as followed. Obviously, the SCR Ribrian was the first one. This Int, uh, Kale. She is a, Real, or not a Realm of God. I keep saying Realm of Gods for some reason. She is the Survival Tournament of Power category support unit. And she gives 33, or two key and 30% 30, 30 attack and defense. Now you might be asking yourself, but wait a minute, that's not, that's a different category right there. All of these free to play units down here, aside from this one right here, which I didn't personally bring, but others have brought, is all in that category as well actually and depending on what friends you bring it actually works out pretty well it is a bit of a slow process with this particular team but there are other teams and other units that have come out over time that can make it definitely a lot faster okay uh this team this uh super saiyan 2 or Su great saiyan man 2 i'm gonna go over just a little bit str kale or khalifla here okay, i'm gonna keep messing up these names i know it is anyway str here she's really good uh just by simply having the units on the team she's at her max already i have a rainbowed out this agl 18 is really good uh she provides good uh the fact that she can increase her defense for every orb that is obtained 
And when she attacks the opponent, she has a medium chance to stun them for two charges, which is really nice. And her super attack lowers the enemy's attack, which is really nice, okay? Uh, obviously, she's not in the category, but the free-to-play Bulma is really good. None, none else really needed to say there. Uh, great unit to bring along. And then this uh, Yunin character, she's actually pretty good. She gives herself plus three key, and then the attacked enemy's attack and defense will down by 15%. And she has a medium chance to stun them just by attacking them. It does not have to be by a super attack, but by attacking them. And also, she does stun them via her super attack, but it's like a rare chance or something like that, so be careful there. But nonetheless, a little bit of luck in there, obviously. Quite a bit of luck sometimes, depending on how your rotations go. But this team can take it down. Now, this Great Sandman 2 right here lowers the enemy's attack and defense by 20%. Or, sorry, uh... A AGL and inst attack enemies attack down by 25%. So kind of situational there. But her passive or uh, sorry, her super attack does increase defense, which is pretty nice. Uh, and all that kind of stuff. So that's not bad. It is definitely really helpful right there. So it's pretty good. Um I just realized actually this is not the Doken Awaken version. I don't know why I have the non-Doken Awaken. No, sorry, this super tech is not the card I want to be. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Hang on, I'll be right back. All right, guys, we are back. Finally found the, I, got, I finally got the right great Sandman 2 here. So this one, the physical one, uh, her her passive is her own defense goes up by 60% and she provides all super types defense up 40%, which is really nice. And then her super attack a lowers attack. So I was getting those mixed up right there. But nonetheless, she's actually another good, really good unit that other people have tried out. So definitely really good right there. Obviously for a free to play team like this, rainbow everybody before attempting it. But nonetheless, I know people are gonna have much better units sometimes. You know, you might have, again, the SSJ2 Khalifa here. Uh, you're gonna have the, or sorry, Kefla. You're gonna have the Khalifa AGL over the STR one, things like that. It works out really well. It's obviously one of the easier ones when it comes to this. So do keep that in mind. But other than that though, not too bad. More units keep coming out, especially when the STR Ribrian gets her Doken Awaken. Things can work out really well for you. So a lot of people, everyone should be able to get that uh, Goku overtime with this team or just variants of this team right there, okay? Next, moving on is the Half Sands. Half Sands is actually pretty underrated and actually a very good team depending on the units you bring, okay? So SCR Gohan obviously is the one you want to be bringing as the leader. His next in line, I guess, in terms of a leader is the Kid Gohan. It's like a very baby leader. So unfortunately, SCR Gohan is going to be your best bet right now. Uh, the physical Gohan right here, the future one is not a bad unit to bring along. He's very good defensive wise. However, I know a lot of people are not going to summon for him because of when he's coming out on global and what's coming after that. Yeah, a lot of people skipping this banner. So if you pull him on a single, great. If not, get him when he comes back. He's not needed. He's not needed, but he is really helpful right there. Okay. This guy is 100% needed. You do not take this guy or you do not go into this battle without this guy. Free to play LR trunks right here, okay? He is literally made for Super Battle Road. No questions asked. No questions asked. Bring him along. I know some people will go in here without him and beat him probably, but if you want to make your life a lot easier, bring this card. End of discussion. Moving on. Anyway, we're going into the LR trunks. Obviously, he's a very good unit to bring along. These two are best partners right there. They will both get their 18 key super attack nine times out of 10. It's going to make your life a lot easier. It's just, that's just how it is, okay? Uh, obviously, you can bring along the uh, LR Gohan. I personally don't have him, though, so that is one thing right there. But nonetheless, uh, you can bring him along if you want to. Some good support units, if you want to bring him along, is going to be this Gohan right here in the high school uh, uniform. He's from the World Tournament, so a lot of people hopefully have him or maybe we've pulled him off of the random World Tournament banner. If you don't, it's not the end of the world, but nonetheless, he's a good unit to bring along. And then this Gohan. Now, Global, you unfortunately do not have him yet, but this is another World Tournament prize. He is key plus two to super types and attack and defense up 30%. An amazing support unit for this stage and just absolutely re really really makes it a lot easier for you if you happen to have him one unit i realized i didn't put on here for some weird reason is the physical super saiyan 2 gohan this guy right here i thought i'd put him on there but i guess not again 35 percent attack and defense to all types doesn't matter so he's you support you're gonna throw him off rotation but nonetheless he's really good to have there which is really nice S, uh, this Kid Gohan, the EZA one, I don't recommend bringing him if you have more options, but he is a great unit nonetheless. If you need that six slots filled, he's a really good unit. He's really strong. The only problem is that he's a bit of a nuker. He requires those rainbow orbs. So you've kind of, if you're playing with other cards that are, are nuker, you kind of have to sacrifice some orbs for one person to give them to the other. So do keep that in mind right there, okay? Other good units to bring along is, of course, this AGL Gohan. 
uh, key to two, key plus two to super types and attack up 25%. Pan is another good defensive and attack of support unit right there. SSJ through Go Tanks isn't bad, but I throw him off rotation because of the key links. And then obviously the physical Go Tanks there for ceiling. He's that right there, okay? So that worked out really well. In terms of the rotations though, usually I went these two. Uh, again, I know a lot of people don't have the physical LR trunks. So if you don't, then, you know, throw in whoever you want there. The SDR uh, Gohan isn't bad either. SCR Gohan and then either this Gohan right there are really good to have and of course if you're throwing in a lot of support units then key becomes a non-issue because as we know when this team originally came out STR only having shocking speed basically required the LR Trunks and the LR Gohan but now that's not really the case if you can bring along some decent support units it can work out pretty well right there okay so again that's half sands pretty easy right there um but again this guy bring him he helps a lot <laughs> he helps a lot okay End of the discussion right there. I know that I know the grind is long. I know it's long, but it's worth it. Okay, so definitely go for him. Okay. Next is going to be the revived warriors category, and this one is another kind of easy one, depending on what units you have. Technically, I guess they could all be easy depending on what units you have. But this one does not require LRs, even though I know a lot of units are LRs on this category. Let's go ahead and take a look at the team I personally used. Okay, and ignoring this particular LR right there. Okay. Uh, obviously. Angel Golden Frieza is the leader you want to bring along. I don't think there's a baby leader. There might be, but he might be only on JP right now. Globy might get him a little later. I'm totally blinking on who it is. Again, by the time you'll see it. Golden Frieza, very good tank as long as you keep him above that 50% right there. Yeah, kind of a risk reward, but nonetheless, he's not too bad. Um, this Frieza right here, Global, you got him a lot earlier than we did before we got the Super Battle Road stages. We did not have this guy when it originally came out. He's definitely a big help, although half your guys that you fight are int. Uh... Well, the Gohan is Int, and there's another Int, and then technically there's two Techs. So Int is your best bet there, but just keep in mind that first stage is the Int. Most of them are Tech, actually, the more I think about it now. Um, anyway, Tech Cells are really good. If you have the EZA by the time you see this, which I'm thinking you will, because, again, that is when Future Gohan's coming, and this is when we got the EZA for Cell, I think. Global likes to switch it around a bit. I don't know. Anyway, uh, Tech Tapion. Do not sleep on this unit. He is great. Lowers the enemy's attack. Gets an attack and defense boost by 80%. Critical chances, pretty good high chance of it actually. Changes orbs to rainbow. Dude is great. Uh, the very first stage has a very big pain in the butt. Uh, great Sandman int, the Gohan technically. And he will attack. I have defended with this guy. I haven't rainbowed, I know that. But I defended with this guy. He lowers the guy's attack. If you get a double in there, it's really nice. Gohan does nothing to him. Does absolutely nothing to him. It's great. He's amazing units. Do not sleep on this guy. Doesn't matter if his attack is getting lowered by the Frieza. That's not the point of him being there. It is really good for him just to be in there defensive-wise. Help with the key. It works out really well. Not to mention, he has revived the revived Warriors link. So, it works out really nice in terms of key there. Metal Cooler. Another good support unit right there. The only thing with this guy is, though, make sure he's not getting hit too much because he doesn't really get a good defensive buff. But nonetheless, again, he's that right there. Other units I have brought along that have actually helped me a lot is this uh, King Piccolo. Lowers the enemy's attack by 25% just by being there, which is really, really nice. Okay, The team that I personally used to take this guy down the very first time of this event, the very first time, was Angel Golden Frieza, Golden Frieza, Tech Cell, Tech Tapion, this King Piccolo, and then I also brought the Physical Bardock because the Physical Bardock gives... Uh, all types, key plus two, attack up 20% if HP is 30% or above. Again, he's going to be a guy you throw off rotation, but he's really nice to have there nonetheless, okay? Kid Boo is actually a really good option to bring him to after his EZA. If you have it before the EZA, though, it's kind of a liability there, especially with the way his passive is before his EZA. So, you know, take it or leave it, I guess, when it comes to that kind of stuff. Other units, of course, that other people have brought along are going to be the AGL Tapion. You can actually bring this guy and a tech if you want to. Good defensive unit. And then when he transforms into the Harutagon, then he gets that plus three key from the Frieza. Although, I guess technically because you're on the Revive Warrior. So there's this AGL Tapion. And then he's invincible for a little bit, which is really nice. So you keep that in mind. LRs, of course, are the LR Bojack. This guy is really good on this stage. I personally don't have him, though. Curse you, LR Bojack. Uh, but again, really good defensive wise, pretty good attacker, but really good there. A lot of people are going to ask, what about LR Marge Vegeta and LR Broly? Yes, they can help. Uh, Broly though, on the other hand, very big liability if he attacks and does not finish the opponent off and five attacks come swinging his way. Got to be very careful there, okay? LR Marge and Vegeta, uh, 18 keys a little hard to get sometimes, but maybe Tech Tatium can help you there a little bit uh, along with the Bardock if you want to or something like that, okay? 
Other units you can bring along if you want to are going to be like the Tech SSJ3 Goku. He works really well with the LR Maj Vegeta if you have to go ahead and do that. Just keep in mind though that with type advantages and disadvantages, Maj Vegeta especially is at a huge disadvantage because half the half of the people you will fight are Tech. He's AGL. You guys get the idea right there. So nonetheless, that's just how it's going to work. So that's Realm of Godzo in a nutshell. Not too bad, depending on what units you have. You might have to wait a little bit to get some other units, but you know, it can work out. And obviously if you have other units, but maybe not, like for example, the SSJ3 Bardock or something like that, really good unit to bring along, even though he only buffs super types, but nonetheless, he can seal. Uh, 16 here, really good unit as well, defensive wise. So again, there's lots of different options there. Test some things out, go into it, see how well you can do, okay? Next, as we continue on, and my voice is going to be dying here soon, is Realm of Gods. Probably, as of this moment, the hardest categor category stage. Uh, I've talked with many other Doken YouTubers. Yeah, this is easily the hardest one. A lot of luck required on this one. Let's break it down right now, okay? UI Goku obviously has to be your leader. I know there are there is one free-to-play unit now. I believe it's the Supreme Kai, and then he's got the, the other Kais behind him. Globally, you don't have him yet, but JP, you do. He is technically the free-to-play unit, but... Uh, yeah, you're not going to bring him because he's still kind of a baby leader. So anyway, UI Goku, definitely someone you want to have. SDR, Vegito Blue. Most people have this guy. Definitely bring him along. He is the best Vegito by far to take and more the safest into this event. Now, I will say, though, I have brought tech and tech's are right here. Just again, my camera's plugging in the way of it right there. I have brought tech. And if you can get lucky, because mine is rainbow, so he's stronger than the SDR one. Tech can do work against this event, but again, you gotta be kind of lucky. You've gotta be, you know, able to make sure you can get some super attacks off to raise that defense and attack. SCR is still your best one to bring along, okay? Physical, I've tried physical, and physical is, yeah. yeah. Physical is interesting because physical, According to the calculations at this time still is that he is better than the strength one, not better than the tech one, but better than the strength one if you have him rainbowed. And again, he counters multiple super attacks, better links than the tech one, so you would think he'd be the best one to bring. But his damage reduction is only 30%. Even at rainbow, it's still taking a lot of damage because you have to remember, this is not type advantage anymore. These are going to be multiple types, and I can throw that LR in there and take, aside from AGL hits, any other hit usually, aside from a super attack, you know, triple digits, maybe quad at the most, and that's it. Physical here still takes a lot of damage, and then not to mention the fact that he does not have an attack boost or anything like that. He just simply gets multiple super attacks. He's not dealing that much damage, so yeah, sorry, physical, you're not really helping. You might get lucky and you could beat it, then great, but physical is, yeah, very big liability there, actually. Moving on. Uh, next, obviously, is this Goku here. He does fit into the category. Again, you will suffer a little bit because of the whole changing to over in a flash, but again, you're using UI Goku, so he does help out there a lot. Very good units to bring along if you want to. Uh, the most overpowered, technically not really broken combo in the game, to my opinion, still to this day, SCR Rose and the LR Goku Black and Zamas. okay? Lowering the attack, great key links. LR, obviously, providing just... 18 key is really easy to get. After you get a super attack off of him, after the first round, unfortunately, uh, then you're good to go in the defense department. Let him get hit a few times, and then boom, he's killing people in one to two hits, no problem. Very good unit to have there, okay? One unit, again, though, that kind of, it's not really a liability, but you got to rely a lot on luck, is Jiren. He has a medium chance to stun everyone at the beginning of the turn. If you don't get the stun off, though... He's fine, depending on how many orbs you have him to him, but sometimes that stun is what can really bring the clutch game home. So he's not bad to bring, but don't rely too much on his stun. Otherwise, you're going to hope that he stuns, and you've got, like, everyone and, like, nine attacks coming in at you at the very first slot, and you're going, can't do anything. Sorry. So, again, you got to keep an eye out when it comes to Jiren right there, okay? Whis is a very good support unit. All types key plus two. Attack and defense up 20%. Don't let him get attacked, though. Even if you have not rainbowed in, like, 20 dodge and everything like that. But nonetheless, he's a good support unit to bring along. Uh, Supreme kind of a time. Uh, JP only, unfortunately, unless Global gets it. So, not the best support unit, uh, but a very good support unit if you have her. Give her some dodge, unless you only got one, two, unless you only got one of her. Make sure she doesn't get attacked, basically. She can still, she'll take she'll take a lot of damage. She's only an, an, a UR, so level 100, so do keep that in mind. But she does seal, which is really nice. 
Don't let her get attacked 10 times, otherwise you're gonna just, you're gonna eat dust, essentially, okay? Uh, obviously, West Kai, JP, you don't, or Global, you don't have this, but J you will get it. JP, we do have it. Best Realm of God support unit to this date. Better than Supreme Kai Time. Yes, better than Supreme Kai Time. All types, key plus, or not, no, no key, sorry. Attack and defense up 40%, and a 7% chance to critical attack. That's really nice right there, okay? Uh, again, though, make sure uh, not attack too much. Nonetheless, though, very good unit to have right there. Other units you can bring also is going to be into Zomis. Very good defensive unit right there. So really, really good. And then the Demigra here are its final form, I guess. Obviously, I know Global, it's still iffy if you guys will ever get super unit or get the hero units. But JP, very good unit. He's basically a little bit of a weaker version than the STR Rosé. Key plus three to all extreme types. And then attack and defense down by 20% of all enemies. That's really nice right there. And his own attack goes up 120%. Don't let him get attacked, though. Again, he'll take some decent damage. So that's Realm of Gods right there. Easily one of the harder ones. So I don't blame you guys if you skip it for a while. It's, you know, it is what it is. So there are other units, though, that could be coming out in the near future that could definitely help you. I'm not going to say those because, you know, it's not really spoilers anymore. But I know some people are hoping not to get spoiled by that. Hell <laughs> are good. <coughs> Blue is easy to do. Yeah. Anyway, moving on to the Majin Buu category now, okay? And I will mention something uh, right now. One of Someone on Twitter actually did uh, mention this to me. And I kind of want to try this out this upcoming weekend or the next weekend or something like that. Could you make a half stance category team under the Majin Buu category and beat this? And I think yes, if you have the STR Gohan and the right units and a good amount of buffs into them via the potential system. I think it could work. So I definitely want to try that out. I'll let you guys know if you are watching this later on. Again, it, it'll be like one of the very later videos. Go and check it out. It might work actually. So anyway, Majin Buu category, Physical Vegito, best friend here, obviously. LR Vegito as well. Very good units to have right there. No need to really tell you that. This makes your life 10 times easier having this guy on your team or technically guy, girl on this team. Free to play unit. Everyone should have. Again, no problem right there. Uh, this Goku, you can bring. I don't find you really need him. Uh, plus, a thousand days. Many people don't have him, so I'm just gonna delete him from here, actually. So, uh, anyway, SCR Gohan helps a lot. Off rotation, of course, but nonetheless, if we, the half stance category thing does work, he'll be on rotation. But yeah, very good unit to have. Uh, provides that defense. If you don't have him, though, and you have the Int one, Int does work as well. Don't let him get attacked by the physical Vegito, though, at the very, which is the very last boss battle. But nonetheless, it is something that can help you out right there, okay? Uh, I've never really used the LR Hercule, but some have and say he does actually work pretty well. I don't even have LR Hercule because I just, I don't really feel like going through the the summons to try and get him. But nonetheless, he is there. I've heard people have used him. Uh, SSJ3, Goku is very good because of his EZA and his defensive buff. So he's really nice to have there. It's kind of a side off rotation character. Um, let's see this Gohan again. I mentioned before global. You don't have him just yet But when the world tournament does come around go for him. He's really good to have great units a great support not to mention He's SCR and half the people you face off against are physical. So type advantage right there Gohan same here and then this Gohan kind of be more of a neutral typing for most of the guys you'll fight against but again 35% attack and defense is really nice makes a difference here for the Vegito um, You can't bring agility unfortunately because again, he's your leader. Okay, uh, STR Goten, the EZA one, very good unit to bring along. Go ahead and do that. And then the SSA3 Gotenks is not bad, but again, because of him losing his own defense, he does suffer a bit there, okay? Now, you might notice I've brought mostly ST or mostly super types and, well, actually all super types and no extreme types. You can bring some extreme types. LR Marge Vegeta, I know works. The LR Goten and Trunks. I don't have the LR Goten and Trunks, but the LR Marge Vegeta. He could technically be really good with the SSJ3 Goku here. And if you get some good links and some good support units in there, then you've got its 18 key super attack and do some really good damage, I'm sure. But honestly, I think it's not really worth bringing. But again, if you are limited to the cards you need, then bring him along by all means. Just do keep in mind, you've got to really focus on him on one rotation to make sure you have somebody that can provide a bunch of links for him, okay? Um, there are some other units in here. Uh, Physical Gotenks, I forgot to put him in here because he actually is pretty good. Seals up as usual. So that's something right there. Tech Vegito, again, another great support unit. I should have put him in there right there. Again, something you can bring along. Uh, it doesn't matter who you're going against. Physical Kid Boo, again, after the EZA, I could see it working. I could see it working, no problem. Again, you're going to have him off rotation. This Goku's not too bad either. Uh, all types key plus two, attack up 25%, or sorry, 20%. So that you keep that in mind. Now, one unit I want to talk about real quick because he's actually getting an awakening over on JP. And I thought this thing had loaded out before, but I guess it didn't. 
So if you give me a second here, oh, actually it's right here, is this Goku, okay? This SSJ2 Goku Angel is getting a Doken Awaken, and actually I used him to beat the very first time I took on this stage, because I had that last slot that I didn't really have a unit yet, didn't have a lot of the units I currently have. My EZA Goten was like no orbs or anything, SA2 or something like that, it just wasn't working out for me, okay? This guy is really good because the more he attacks, the more his defense increases. When he super attacks, he greatly increases his defense. He's a good off-rotation unit to have, and he's free. He's from the Battlefield uh, 2.0 game. And so even if you can't beat the entire thing, you've got 30,000 of those currency orb things to spare, grab a copy of them. Grab, grab a couple dupes of them. I rainbowed the guy. Not at the time of the time when I made the video originally, but nonetheless, he's he's definitely worth it, especially when he gets his Doken Awaken soon, which is tomorrow at the time it's recording for JP. So do keep that in mind right there, okay? He is another good unit. All right, we're at the end of this video now. We are into the Patara category. Wow, my voice is killing me, but nonetheless, we gotta finish this up. So, LR Vegito is, of course, the best leader to bring along, but the Kefla is another good unit to bring along. She's more even across the board in terms of the stats. Vegito here is, of course, 130% of the HP, but attack and def or sorry, HP and attack is 170%, but defense is only 130%. So, you know, whichever one you wanna bring, Kefla's got more potential for doing more attacks. LR Vegito is, well, LR Vegito, so. Uh, in terms of the Vegito though, uh, you definitely wanna bring the physical one or the AGL one, both work just fine. I prefer the physical though, because he is stronger, especially if you get more hits, but AGL does tank better, unless you get super attacked. Then you're in the dirt, literally, so. Uh, Tech Vegito Blue is another good unit to bring along. The STR Vegito is definitely good to bring along. He's probably your best bet. I do prefer to bring the Tech Vegito, actually, uh, which I have here in the corner. But Physical also works as well. Although, again, Physical, that mitigation damage is, uh, it, it is a little left, but it's a lot to be desired. So, But uh, anyway, SCR, best one to bring. Tech, I prefer to bring because he's rainbowed, and I can usually make the situation work for me. STR Rosé, very good units. Uh, LR... Uh, Goku Black and Zamas is very good as well. Uh, I usually actually throw them off rotation, but you know, again, it can work depending on the cards you have and the rotations and everything like that. Into Zamas, very good unit, blocks a lot of, you know, you, you, you guys all know that. Kefla, again, really good unit to bring along, even if you're not using her as the leader. Again, really good card to bring. AGL Vegito I talked about. Candy Vegito is not bad to bring, but you've got to rely a lot on luck because I swear Super Battle Road skewers your chances of things happening sometimes. This guy, he can be a very big liability even at Rainbow. If he gets super attacked even once or even hit sometimes, cool, your HP just goes yoink and it's gone. So just keep that in mind right there. Reason I have the West Kai here is simply because uh, support units for Realm of Gods, but half of your team or a good chunk of your team is from the Realm of Gods category, so you can go ahead and bring the, the West Kai along if you want to. Do keep that in mind right there, okay? And like I said before, guys, if you need to go ahead and change characters out and all that fun stuff, you don't need to bring the exact teams or characters I'm telling you to bring, but again, these are the ones that I brought along and some other options that you can have. So... With that being said, we are finally done with this full guide right now. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments as always. It's going to take time, guys. There will be moments where you think you've got it and then you die. You know, it's going to take some, you know, some a lot of chances to go ahead and go through it. And unfortunately, it's only on the weekends. But nonetheless, it is possible. You can get at least one copy of the Goku. And it's a, it's a free LR. It's 100% to all types. HP attack and defense up 100% and 3 key. He's worth it. So he's definitely worth it because he himself is a good support unit. So... Anyway, guys, again, that's going to be it for the video. Let me your thoughts down below in the comments. As always, what event can you beat and what one are you going to take take on? JP, if you're watching this, which ones do you have left and which ones have been the easiest for you and the hardest? Let me know all your thoughts down below in the comments. As always, leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe if you happen to be new. Until next time, everyone, I will see you all in the next one.